Heavy concern? I'm on heavy on a lot of pain, so I don't want to see if y'all have a new pain specialist or something. Okay. Have there been any changes in your medication? No. <sighs> if you needed a prescription today, what pharmacy do you use? Have Walmart in there. You should see about some pain medication too after last night. until the guy went to Arizona, so uh, they just, okay. you know, whatever. Uh, in any case, um, there doesn't seem to be a lot of them around, so she needs to get some kind of pain medicine from you until she can get in there. She typically gets a few Vicodin. I, I'm sorry, I'm really not comfortable anymore. Comfortable. You're here for her comfort, not yours, aren't you? I, I'm sorry. I, I cannot do that without a nervous visit to discuss it. And I don't prescribe uh, narcotics for chronic pain or fibromyalgia. Um, and that's not only for me, that's only for my body. Well, I mean, isn't that what this is, an office visit? This is an office visit, yes. Okay. And I need another visit to talk about your pain and try to figure out what we can do. Okay. Why can't you talk about it now? Because my medication's already here. I'm sorry. <sighs> I mean, the, the, she's been diagnosed with this for some time now, years. It's in the that's, records. That's why I specifically said for Lisa Ferguson to see me, not you. Okay. And, and, and she, when she set up this appointment? It was supposed to be Lisa Ferguson, not and you. And when she set up this appointment, it was expressed that we were going to talk about pain medicine. Okay, well, that's not what was on my schedule. Well, then we need to speak to someone to see why they didn't put it on there. Because I'm getting tired of getting the run around and living with someone who lives in pain like somebody poured alcohol on her and lit her on fire. And I'm tired of the excuses. Okay. I, I apologize. Um, I, I don't know what to This has been going on for years. Okay. And I'm tired of people being more concerned with their career and their medical license than the patients they're treating. I, I cannot prescribe it today, though. You mean you won't? I, I can't. What's preventing you? Authority. Did you, did you tell that doctor she wanted to find out about getting some pain meds? No. I, what do you mean? She said it wasn't on her, on the information for her. Right, I don't think there was enough time in the visit today to go over that. Well, because we told you that was one of the things we wanted when they came in, right? Right. And so you didn't even tell her. Excuse me? She said that it wasn't. It wasn't well, the appointment was originally for to go over your birth control and the depot shot. No, it wasn't. Well, I didn't decide whether what she discussed or not, so I don't know. Uh, so you, you didn't tell her what we told you? 
All I do is I type in the visit what the appointment is for, and the appointment was originally for to go over the birth control. And appointment was it? Well, uh, the last time she was here, she was here for coughing and stuff like that. And every time we're here, we bring up pain meds, and we wanted to discuss it. And that was supposed to be something else that was supposed to be on the appointment. And we, okay, well, that's not up to me, whatever you and the doctor discussed. No, but but we told you that was what we were here for today, right? You had a list of things. Yes. And that was one of them. I just put one thing in here for what she was originally scheduled for. And whatever else you and the doctor want to discuss is up to you and the doctor. So you did not communicate what we told you then, right? You. That's how we. I do my job, is I put a summary of the, what the appointment is made for in the chart. That's it. So that would be a no. You didn't tell her. Correct. Okay. All right. Okay. I want to see um, the patient advocate and the person who's supposed to be running this place. Okay. Um, well, our manager is not here right now. She's on vacation. So you're more, I can have her give you a call when she gets back. Well, who's in, who's in charge in her stead? That's who is in charge. In her, who's in charge when she's gone? We don't have a per, another person in charge. So, so the place just runs chaotic if she's gone? Come on, somebody has to okay. take her place. Let me have someone else talk to you, okay? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Wow. Short, you want more I'm going to make this short and sweet for you, okay? We don't prescribe narcotics in this practice, and we'll clearly not meet your needs, so we'll be sending you letters of discharge. Um, what medication did she, did she give to send home? For pain. Um, she's giving you Vicodin. Okay. Is that a prescription? No, it's just four. Oh, okay. okay. That's fine. Actually, no, it's not four. It's six. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Let me make sure that's And you know, they could have just done the same thing in Swift River when you were in pain like that. Yeah, I know. Instead of being so politically correct. I just have to have her sign this. I just yeah. need to go find her a little yeah. this. Um, this is about Vicodin. You know about Vicodin. I there's information. Yeah. In there. Yeah. You can yeah. cause constipation. Um, don't drive. Don't use alcohol while you're using it. Uh, don't take extra Tylenol when you take it. It has Tylenol in it. Yeah. Um, do you have questions? She, she won't take more than one of those in a week. This is your big packet of information if you ever care to read it. Okay. I need a signature from you. Yep. You need to scan this again? Or? I will need to scan it again, yes. If you want to sign there, I'm going to go find Emily so I can see. Right. If you can sign it, and then I will take your ID out, and you'll be good to go. Okay. Okay? Boy, that should last you about a month, huh? Huh? At least, right?